Oh my god. Alright, so w- w- what's this episode? Good grief. Welcome back to Character Select, Dave in Space. That is basically this entire game. What is this anything? I. I gotta say. I fucking. Oh man, there's a lot of people in this one. Henrietta Tombs, Rose Jones. I fucking love. Oh! Jesus. There's Jesse Cox. Who is he playing? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, we'll see him. R1, I think his name was. I fucking love Devecchi Studios. Seriously, you guys make a game, yeah. I'm gonna play it. That's all I need you to know. Dark Knights. It started with a wish. Could you imagine if museums sort of opened up like a escape room sort of like attraction? That'd be cool as shit, and nobody would ever get to not, touch anything. Yeah, no, no, not actual. <laughs> not actual. What is your wish? A wish, you say? Let me think. Oh, what are we doing? Get married to Monroe. Or don't so just have Monroe. Uh, the first choice usually isn't the pathbreaker, <laughs> Dave. It's true. Regardless, it's Monroe, so... Love, fool. I wish that Ellis Monroe never stops loving me. Hmm. You wish? How does it work? It's magic, isn't it? Yes. Actually, you know what? I know that Jesse Cox is a huge fan of these games. Go on. Ask it something. Huge fan. That's why he's in it. Okay. Well. Um. The only reason I know about these games that I showed you is through Jesse Cox. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, ask a question. Ask a question. Take your pick. I, put, I chose yeah, person. Just, yeah. Painting. Rose, are you stuck in there? No. Are you stuck out there? It asks questions. It's like it's alive. <laughs> How about this then, Rose? What's the square root? Of one thousand two hundred and ninety six. She's confused. I'll do a reboot. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. It's wonderful. I'm sure August will love it. Museums aren't what they used to be. Pam. Sad but no. true. They're much rarer than ever before. Too kind. Let me get those prizes for you. Of course. Happy to help. Let's call it payment for that wish. I love museums, by the way. Not necessarily yes. art museums, but oh. history museums. Monroe will be pleased with my wish. Thirty-six. <laughs> Shit. And Monroe's just wandering in the woods for some reason. Oh, she's hiding things. There's a couple of game companies that have done that now, like drops things around for people to find. Yeah. Although usually in cities, not in the woods. <laughs> yeah, alternate reality games are fascinating and I never want to do one. <laughs> it's too complicated for my freaking smooth brain. Have you seen, like, the, the zombie run ones? No. They get a bunch of actors to play the zombies. Oh, and yeah, 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 yeah. Like, areas. Yeah, no, I gotcha. I don't know what we're choosing between so, here. I don't know. 
touch their neck, I guess. Let's just see what happens. I'm so tired. I could be watching reruns of Moonlighting right now. <laughs> Treasure buried. Remind me why this is my job again? You have smaller fingers than me, Monroe, and you can get into smaller spaces. So it's nothing to do with you having the warm, cozy studio then? Absolutely not. Uh, how many capsules to go? Uh. Check the pocket. Are we getting paid for this? It's marketing, Monroe. Promoting the museum makes us look good. I suppose any publicity is good publicity. I've got one left. Good work, Monroe. Going live in three, two... Welcome back, listeners. Good news, Monroe only has one more capsule to plant. That's right, Poe. I'm almost done. And then our listeners can start trying to find them. Yes. Thanks to the generosity of August Museum, you could find a buried treasure. Uh, tell them what's in the capsules, Monroe. Only the best treasure of all, Poe. A free family ticket to August Museum. And that's not all. One lucky capsule has a secret treasure in it, hidden by the curator himself. I wonder what that is, Poe. Hmm. Lunch or coffee? Maybe it's a magical potion. Oh, uh, oh, I wish it was. I mean, because then it could teleport me back to the studio. That's so sweet, Monroe. I do I love coffee, and, and it is a magical potion. I see. Uh, moving swiftly on. <laughs> did one of them feel different to the others, Monroe? No, not really. Well, handle them carefully. In case they open a portal to another world. Could do with one. <laughs> okay then. Sounds like Monroe is getting a little frosty. Time for these words from our sponsors. Remember, Monroe, if you speak with a smile, people know you're smiling. Do we smile or do we flip him the bird? Uh, flip him the bird. <laughs> Am I smiling now? Are you being rude, Monroe? <laughs> I was such a guess. I yes, love it. Actually, I can. <laughs> it's everything I wanted it to be. I think I'm going to keep this last one, Poe. Uh, but we're supposed to be hiding all ten. I know, but we could give it away live on air. I suppose. Okay. Bring it back with you then. On my way. Welcome back, listeners. It's time to find the treasure. Get the geocaching app. Search for hashtag Poe and Monroe, no spaces, and join the hunt. If you see Monroe, tell her dinner's in the dog. Because you cooked it. I'm an exceptional cook. Monroe, on the other hand, burns everything. Like our friendship. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, Monroe. You know I love you, really. Let's have a little break whilst Monroe gets back to the studio. Good luck, August. Yes, good luck. There's some serious friggin' sauciness coming out of her today. Jesus Christ. Don't worry, Rose. You'll not be hungry for much longer. That's not creepy at all. Okay. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Sorry about the mood. It just felt lonely. You're not alone, Alice. You've got me. I don't know, do I? Of course you do. You know how much I care for you. And your wife? It's complicated, you know that. Stay together for the, the kids! Is, I'm not sure it is. What are you saying? Nothing. Give her I'm up or give me this. up. Bitch. What we have is special. The most special thing. And your marriage? It's Schrodinger's marriage. I'm simultaneously married and not married at the same time. No, Poe, you're married. 
there's a piece of paper that states exactly where you are at this current point in time. Alice, we're going live. Let me. Three, two... Welcome back to Radio August Treasure Hunt, sponsored by August Museum. Earlier today, I placed nine capsules in and around town for you lovely listeners to find, and one of them was sealed by the curator himself. Find that capsule and you'll win. A hot dinner date with me, Alice Monroe. Monroe, that's... What if it's a girl? That's hot. Oh. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. I would love that, actually. <laughs> Did you mean hot dinner as in the food is hot? Or a hot date? <laughs> well, I suppose that depends on who wins, doesn't it, Poe? Astounding. <laughs> Monroe is offering a dinner date with the first person who finds the curator's capsule. Good luck, I suppose. Oh, spoiler alert. I wasn't that great at hiding them. Finding them should be easy. Much like getting a date with you. Then. Oh, snap! You to find it yourself, <laughs> but I already have so much of you already, Monroe. Oh, well, look. We have our first caller. Uh, do we take Let's a break? Let's the call. Yeah. Hello, it's Eric. Eric Planner. Hello, Eric. What's happening? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, Monroe. Hi, Eric. <laughs> I, I am such a big fan. Oh, I'm doing a heart shape with my fingers, but you can't see it. I found a capsule. Which one? Outside the doctor's surgery, underneath the bench. That's one of ours. Crack it open, Eric, and let us know what's inside. Okay. Well, while Eric's trying to work out what he's won, tell us more about the doctor's surgery, Monroe. Okay. Uh. It's a general practice. I don't actually go there. But I'm sure it's very nice. <laughs> Where do you go? I haven't needed to see a doctor since I got to Alex. Um. I'm more of a holistic girl anyway. Okay. Let's oh, God. Put a pit in that then. Um, oh, Jesus. This is hilarious. Doing. Eric? Eric, what did you find? Eric? I can't hear anything, Poe. Maybe his phone ran out of battery. Weird. Shall we take the next one? Let's go. Doop. You're live yeah, on one. Radio August. I love you, Monroe. Oh, that's so sweet. Do I win a date? <laughs> mm. Sure. If you find the curator's prize. I'm at the railway crossing. I'm over to the capsule now. What was that? Sounds like he dropped the phone. I didn't even get their name. That's be back creepy. On Great. Why don't you tell us about the railway station while we wait? <laughs> nice throwback. <Of> course. <laughs> sure. The August railway station was built in 1936 by the Thomas Moore. <laughs> Look at the smile that <laughs> collapsed. The very first train route was between Birmingham <laughs> And Orbit and all the villages in between. It closed down about five years ago because, quite frankly, not many people wanted to come to August. Did I ever say that you're a know it all? Not live on air, but I'll take a compliment <laughs> anyway. <sir. laughs> I don't think Caller 2 is coming back. Hmm. Two in a row. If we lose three callers, that's a record. <laughs> well, there is one on the line. Let's get him. All right. Third time lucky. Beep. Caller, you're live on Radio August. Hi, it's Jazz. I'm at the crossroads. Hey, Jazz. Great to meet you. Have you found a capsule? Yep. It was by the post box. That's one of ours. Now, remember... Once you've opened it, try not to lose battery, or get cut off, or disappear. Got it. Opening it now. It 
Seriously? This is too strange, Monroe. Yeah, it's a little kind of creepy. Strange, you know, something's yeah. not right. What are you going to do about it? Maybe we should open the capsule we've got. Don't jinx it. We've got a fourth caller. Let's try We this. can't keep going through all these callers, but we got to keep no, going. No, no, no. Let's go through the caller. Yeah, we gotta, we Fine. <laughs> caller four. You're live on Radio August. We've got to go through the caller. Hi, Paul. It's Izzy. Hello, Izzy. Uh, what's that short for? Izzy. Izzy. <laughs> yes? It's, it's short for Izzy. That's my name. Silly me. Where are you, Izzy? I'm at the old well in Briarley. Is it in the bucket? Uh, it's not in the bucket, Izzy. It is nearby, though. All right, now have a look. Please call in once you've found the capsules, not when you're in the general vicinity. Found it! Excellent. Now, take a look inside. Nice to know that they have, like, Tell listeners that actually really enjoy them after the second episode, right? Izzy? Clearly. Sorry. Oh, we thought we'd lost you. No, the lid was stuck. I'm opening it now. And gone. <laughs> Izzy? Izzy? The souls are being, like, sucked into the capsule. I guess so, so yeah. Open our capsule, Munro. Maybe someone's pranking us. To what end? Call her on the line! I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go to the next caller. Caller number five, you're live on Radio Let's Office. suck them all up. Hi, Munro, it's Eddie here. Hello, Eddie here. What do you got for me? I've got a capsule. Which one? It's from the telephone box on High Road? That's one of ours, although it's not a telephone box anymore. No, it's a, a defib thing. Yeah, Matt was talking about that in another episode. Had heart attacks. Good. I think I'll be having one if we go on a date. Well, no one's found the right one yet, Eddie. That we know of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Good luck, Eddie. Yes, good luck. Eddie? He sounded sweet. Sounded. Well, they're obviously all part of the same prank. <laughs> what if something serious is happening to them, Monroe? We should open our capsule. <laughs> no, we, we should get everyone for us first. Or we could just open the capsule that's right in front of us. Don't you want to see where this is all going? To hell in a handbasket, I should imagine. <laughs> <laughs> this is on you, Monroe. I just can't stop. We've got callers. Yeah, for the first time they've actually got calls. Yeah. So. Beep. Caller six, you're live. Not for very long. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Queenie. Hi Queenie, where are you at? Uh, I'm at the Mary August statue. It's a stunning piece. Oh, I think you're a stunning piece. Oh, it's nice. Queenie, that's sweet. Have you found a capsule yet? Yes, but I've been listening and I'm getting a bit worried about opening it. The plot thickens. Queenie, are you playing with us? I'd like to be. Oh, oh. Well, wow. Open it up. Forward. Hey. Another one bites the dust. She's <laughs> Ouch. Eager to open it. <laughs> Perhaps it is an elaborate prank after all. Only one way to find out. Open our capsule. Next caller. Keep taking callers. <laughs> Give me a list of Boop. names. <laughs> Caller number seven. Monroe is zero for six. Oh, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> of course you don't. What's your name, Caller? <laughs> Helena. And have you found a capsule? Uh, yes. Yes, I have. I'm at Orchard Way, uh, the Lover's Walk. The Lover's Walk? Monroe! Hey, Helena. What's the Lover's Walk? Oh, it's not really called that. It's just a nickname. Go on. Is just a lovely place to walk. It's a very discreet woods, Munro, with lots of conveniently placed benches and tree stumps. Tree stumps? <clears throat> to sit on? Mm. <laughs> oh, <that's so> <laughs> He's being an idiot. Yes, I have a first degree in idiocy. Have you opened your capsule yet, Helen? <laughs> Not yet. I'm doing it now. Just putting my phone down. Be careful. Got speed. Speaker first. Eleanor? Can you hear me? So long. And good night. <laughs> well, there's only two capsules left to find. I still think we should open ours. We can do that afterwards. Yeah, there's still this two calls left to do. I don't think so, Monroe, but you have the controls. 
You're closer to the iPad, That's... Doug, guess. Caller 8? Hello, Monroe. Oh. I'm Arvin. There's oh, Jesse Cox. Arvin, how are you today? Yeah. Better for hearing you. And Poe. There's these. <laughs> Hello, Arvin. Not, not so much Poe. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> I'd literally kill to go on a date with you. How many people? That's... <laughs> Sweet. I think you're gorgeous. Oh my okay. god. <laughs> Shall I open the capsule now? Yes. Please do. Okay, Monroe. Wish me luck. Good luck, Arvin. Yes, Arvin. Let's hope the same fate that's literally struck seven people in a row before <laughs> somehow skips you. What the fuck? There's no need to be like that, Poe. Arvin? <clears throat> Arvin? I'm guessing he's opened the capsule, Monroe. Arvin? Arvin? Anybody there? He's not a ghost. How do you know? <laughs> We've only got one caller left. How do they find them so fast? We didn't even get to find out how Arvin found his. Oh. Maybe he just wants to be on the radio. If this turns into a meme, we'll be taking calls like this for the rest of our lives. Shush, po. Let's think. Beep! Caller number <laughs> nine. <laughs> your reckless endangerment. <laughs> Sorry, the achievements aren't showing Hi, up. That we got Congrats. the reckless endangerment the achievement. Did I? Yes, you did. We've already had a caller, so you must be the last. Wow, so is the curator prize still available? We well, think so? Actually, we lost a lot of those other callers. Uh, phone line issues. Okay, so it's still all to play for. Absolutely. Although I'd recommend not opening the capsule and bringing it to the station first. I'm actually at the graveyard, so that's quite a ways away. We can wait. Just let Q open the capsule, Poe. Don't you want to see what happens? Just let them do their thing. <laughs> Fine. Fire away, Q. This is Break so dumb. And try to avoid death. Death? He's kidding. It's just that whenever someone's opened up a capsule so far, they've stopped talking to us. Why would they do that? Maybe they didn't win. I'm kind of hoping you could tell us. I can video call if you want. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, I'm on 3G. It's not gonna work out here. <laughs> ah, good story. Thanks for trying, Q. It's totally up to you whether you open your capsule or not. Q? Well, I guess it was totally up Q? to her. We've just lost nine people in a row mid-conversation. That's a Radio August record. Congratulations to everyone who found a capsule. <laughs> we think. <laughs> Oh my god. And we'll be back on the hour with the next August update. Until then, stay safe, August. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. Uh, can we take a sec? Oh god. <laughs> what the fuck, man? We just killed nine people. Uh, yeah, clearly. And it was awesome. <laughs> I know. Yes. Yes. Uh... Reckless engagement was probably the best thing we should. Oh my god. I'll be back in a second. Yeah, uh, we'll be back <laughs> next uh, next time on Character Select. We'll probably kill more people by accident, but thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click no, on no, like that. No, no, no. There's only one caption on. We've got it. What? So. No, we've been going for like 25 minutes. No, no, we we're saying that the only person people were going to kill is us, Poe and Marsh. Yeah. There's only one capsule left, remember? Yeah, so we're going to kill more people. That's what I said. Oh, okay. It's fine. We're, we know what we're doing. It's above board. They signed the waiver.